What's up, Lifting Love fam? And you are awesome. We're back with yet another Lifting Love Reacts video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also follow us on all social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Lifting Love Reacts. You'll see the green heart. And last but not least, make sure you go to shopliftinglove.com and check out all the Lifting Love merch that we have available for you. But without further ado, let's get into the video. This is a $50,000 crystal treasure hunt. Dude, perfect. Let's go. Welcome to Treasure Hunting Battle. The dudes split up across the country to look for different types of crystals. May the best treasure win. Oh, it's purple. Oh, let's go. This is so sick. Oh, dude, that's by far the biggest one we've seen. As we were divvying out where to go, I saw San Diego was one of them. San Diego, man, that place is gonna be special. And look at it. I mean, it's unbelievable. Right when I arrived, met the owners, he was like, you wanna blow up the side of a mountain and see what we find? And I was like, yeah, that's all I do. <laughs> Not gonna say no. Do stomp on it. Yep. Three, two, one. Well, that was pretty sweet. Wow. I need to get one of those. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm at a private mine here in upstate New York with our mining expert, Brian Lorenz. Brian, what are we looking for? We're looking for Herkimer Diamonds. Yeah, we are. What's up, guys? TT, Phoenix, Arizona. Headed up to the mountains in this bad boy. Previously, I've obviously been jazzed about Topaz. Today, it's time to catch the gist about Amethyst. Not my best, but well, I'm going to keep working on it. Is he flying the helicopter himself? I'm gonna keep working on it. Is he a helicopter pilot? Did I miss something? Look at this place, hey. huh? Hey. How are you? Hey, Kobe, how you doing? Jeremy, Good nice to meet you, to meet Jeremy. You. Thanks for doing this. What's up, man? We're looking for red barrel. What's the deal with red barrel? Like, why is it something to look for? Well, it's the rarest red colored gemstone in the world, and it's 150,000 times more rare than diamond. I like the sound of that. Let's see if let's get after it. Jonesy, check it in from Montana with Neil and Debbie at their mine, and we're going for emeralds, baby! Oh, we're going for sapphire! All right, Neil, how do we get the sapphires out of the ground? Well, basically, we dig the material, we feed it through the screen, we jig it. Bro, this guy needs a reality TV show. In the jig, find the sapphires. Dude, I have like the easiest one ever. Previous crystal battle was pretty good for me. How did I do? I don't even remember. You won. Did I really? <laughs> <laughs> when I got to the mine, I'm not gonna lie, I had a little bit of flashback to my geode mine. But almost instantly found some unbelievable crystals. Guys, I've been here for 30 seconds and this is already way better than my geode hunt last time. And I thought to myself, it's gonna be a good day. We have officially made it to four peaks. I'm already seeing purple on the ground and uh, the mine is just up this way. So me and Luke are gonna test our uh, elevation lungs and see what happens. We are entering the mine. This little bag right here is a, an old sleeping bag if something should happen and you got stuck. In case we get stuck up here. That's the escape hatch. It's like the airplane emergency exit. Yeah, everybody has to do a verbal. Luke, are you willing and able to crawl through there to escape? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm willing and able. Right down here is what we call the cathedral or the display area where nobody gets to mine and you get a good look Oh my. Absolutely not. Ever catch me in a kind of cave? It literally is a giant geo. <laughs> All right, I'm about to learn how to use an excavator. Oh, yeah. I'm taking it in. Yeah. I mean, two joysticks. I feel like I'm an X Wing pilot. Oh, guys, this is the best way to find treasure ever. Not sure what we're really digging for, just anything that kind of ends in ite. So tourmaline, morganite, and kunzite. Wow, nailed it. I'm a rock guy. If you ask me to draw you a picture or describe it, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> there it is. The battle winner. I have actually have no idea, but we're going to keep it. <laughs> We're probably about, I don't know, five minutes into the hike. Feeling good? Look at this place. This is sick. Hike was a nice plus to this adventure. It definitely makes the experience more exciting when you have this as a backdrop. Come look at this. What is it? See that? Pink and red? No way. Yeah. Like, this is it? it? That's it, man. Dude! We got it. Back to the cars, boys. Let's find some diamonds. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. 
One of the most fun things about today's mining experience is the tools that you use. So I started out with the crowbar. We upgraded to the Porta Power, and it's like hydraulic, so I'm pumping it. And the coolest thing when you're using that, it just literally opens the earth, and you can hear it. All right, here's our first pocket. You see that? Right there. No way. Not a slow start. Just found a lot of good small amethyst crystals early on. Put the light on that, baby. That's going to be That's a nice dark you go. purple piece. Ooh, wow, look, look at that. At that. That's, That's good. Great. Really good color. Underneath the earth, it was like purple, pink. What is that? That is the tourmaline. Oh, wow. Definitely thought it was just brown under the earth, to be honest with you, but well, it's colorful <laughs> down there. Oh, oh, Timmy. I just hit a jackpot. You might want to come over here. For real? Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like an ice block. Oh, it's purple. Didn't know what it was. You gotta be like such a such a, a thrill to like get something like that. Was when I found it, it's Kunzite. But finding the purple lightsaber changed the day around because we were really only finding like stuff like this big. Yeah, Muscle green. Light. My first thought was there's nothing here. It just looks like a bunch of like dirt. So how could there possibly be something in it? I don't have the best reputation for power tools, but here we are. I'll trust you. I might have to buy me a jackhammer. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I think I might need one. Coach, <laughs> check it in. I have done zero mining and I do not care because I am in a giant dump truck. Let's have fun. Montana! Oh, hold on, truck. We're tipping. We are tipping. Oh my gosh, we're gonna fall. Hey, you turn it off, turn it off. Give me your camera, give me your camera. We're not gonna fall now. <laughs> we almost just died. Oh! My like legs are shaking. Oh! Alright! Win or lose, we survive! I kind of thought you were going down. No I didn't know. Road. There was no signs. It was weird. It's not like you can <laughs> see the ground. All good. That all worked great. That was awesome. That was fun to watch. Later in the day, started pulling out some really, really nice pieces. <laughs> oh! Let's go. Hard to see the colors. It's so big. That's an awesome one. I'm feeling as confident as I've ever been in a crystal hunting battle. I was jazzed about Topaz. However, <laughs> had a fly try and make his way up into my right nostril, but I got him out, luckily. Where was I? <laughs> we just moved it out with the excavator. Look at this. Oh! This is insane. That's so crazy. Like, I, I didn't even know, like, exactly where people would find them. But, like, just random spots. Like, bros in New York, San Diego, Montana. They just random spots. <laughs> Thanks for playing, guys. I think you're looking at your winner right here. I feel like I'm robbing a bank. I mean, a wise man once said, started at the bottom, now we're here. You know? Did I just absolutely break that? Yeah, you did. Yeah, we broke one. There's some red gold in this here bucket. And then he put it in a little magic sifter. <laughs> and lo and behold, there's barrel ever. Oh, there it is. Oh, dude. Yeah. There it is, guys. <laughs> there's that. more than one in there. We're going to clean them up and make them look nice. Got a pretty good one, Jeremy. Had a baby. Bang, 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 bang. Another one. That's a good one. All right, so I'm here with Neil on the top of some shoot thingy. This is all the stuff we've grabbed from the pile. We loaded it onto the belt. It went through the filtering system, went through some pipes, got dumped into some water. We drained the water, and here we are. What do we got? Are these it? Sapphires. Yeah. No? No. Okay. Gravel. What we do is we pull the <laughs> upper material away, and as we do, that's where our sapphires are going to be running. Oh, that's gold. YouTube, it has been a blast. I've had a great run, 14 years in the game. I am now going to retire because, Neil, tell me how much that's worth. Wow, about 86 cents. Oh, you know what, YouTube, I'm not going anywhere. So days chugging along, we've seen some pretty incredible specimens. Can it happen? Oh! Oh, that's huge. Crystal's loose, so we're just going to take it out. Let's see what we have. Big moment. Oh, you guys. Jackpot! This is so sick. Look at this. Oh Brian's freaking out. Brian knows. This is beyond fantastic. Thanks for playing, boys. Thanks for playing. Now it's getting difficult to sit up here. Hold on while I clear my amethyst out of the way so I can get to more amethyst. Last time, crystal hunting, we uh, wrapped it up early, went golfing. This time, uh, thinking maybe bowling. 
go-karts. Maybe both. I think it's... My bad. Oh. Yeah, I think we better get going. This thing might... I don't feel too safe in here. Let's go Let's go to the next site. I'll be honest, I've been a little bit jealous of the guys in the previous videos who've gotten to go underground. And today, check that off the list. Guys, y'all, this is sick. This is really cool. Up to... I'm good. Like, I could, I could really go my whole life without going through something like that. I'm good. Left here. Uh-huh. And that's kind of where you want to try to get rock out. Hard hat doesn't fit great. The underground mine was sweet. That's where we found the best pocket. Got some good pieces back there. Excited to check it out. Ooh, got one already. Oh, Matrix yeah, baby. Piece. Yeah, in there? Yeah, it's in Matrix. Oh, that's so you cool. you knocked that one out and you didn't break it, so that's great. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. A quick three. One of them's nice. Oh, another! Dude, this basket is loaded. There could be an absolute jackpot under my house in Frisco, Texas. I'm gonna blow it up. The, the, the ground, not the house. Okay, looks like... Breaking news, a house just blew up in Texas. The homeowner claims he was finding crystals. More later on the 7 o'clock news. We've got a pile from what we were doing up, up top, and we've added tweezers, and look how easy this is about to be. You know, a lot of the other guys will probably just take their uh, crystals, bring them back, set them on a table. Maybe they wash them off with water. Got a little different plan. I'm going to try and get some of these beauties uh, refined a little bit. Sparky's kind of into his, his chain phase. Just need to bring him back a purple, a purple chain. What do you think, Spark? Huh? Could be nice. Could be your thing. Came back up to the mine. I blew up and we kind of came up a little bit short. I think there's some good stuff in there, but we're like two feet of rock away. So it's going to be somebody else's find. No way. You know I got you guys. Comment below if I fooled you. I'm gonna leave this here for the other guys though. You know, somebody's gonna get fooled by it. We had one bucket that had 10 barrels in it, which was really legit. That was a really fun way to end the day. You ready for the big number? Including the ones in the rock. 38 red barrel, what a day. As hard as finding 3.8 million diamonds. These things are rare. After a full day at the Lewis and Clark mine, here is our loot of sapphires. Check that out, baby. If that is not a winning pile of delicious minerals, I don't know what is. After we got back up, some of the guys showed me how they faceted stone. All right, so this is uncut, and this is what you can make it into. One guy showed us this uh, topaz, where well, that thing is insane. Weighs almost half a pound. I mean, I could buy the map. That's crazy. I don't for 20K, he said, basically. So, 20K. I almost bought it. We are uh, going through our finds, just kind of giving them a quick wash to see which ones look the best. I don't know for sure how much quantity the other guys are coming home with, but I got a nice big gallon Ziploc full of some quality crystals, and I feel really good about where we're at. Feast your eyes on some of these. Didn't know I was coming to hunt down purple stone today, but boy. I mean, came to the right spot. My purple lightsaber doesn't give me pony. All uh, right, here's what I think. I think, uh, oh man. Yeah, I think I think he won. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he won. I mean, I, got, I, I might sell my stake. I know the one's worth way more than the rest of us. Time to judge up. Crystal Battle 2, well done, boys. Cody, did you bring anything? What, are, dude? These are sapphires. Oh, I didn't see. <laughs> They're not cut yet. Oh wait, wait! I forgot one of my pieces. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. I left one of my amethysts with a jeweler who actually cut one of my stones wow. into this gem, and so I just figured here you can just go ahead. And... Looks really good on you, by the way. Cody, what is this? Are these, these are examples that if I had the time, I could cut these into these, not the same size. Got it. So you didn't find those. Oh, Cody went to Ty's pool pool equipment and he got some pea gravel. No, it's not pea gravel, this is oh sapphire. An embarrassing effort, you almost lost your life as well. So you're last place. Are you serious? We're still just cutting to do it. Well, don't clap for this. Yeah, wow. In fourth place, Tyler, you fell victim to amethyst. It's my least favorite rock. <laughs> the heli ride was cool. <laughs> the cave digging, cool. Don't. You don't have to do this. Just give this to me. Gare. I appreciate that. TT. Fourth place, no. no. Oh, okay. In third place, Garrett Hilbert. Yeah. What? Garrett, but you like that. with the purple? Yeah, it was really cool. I thought he had a shot. I thought he had a That's shot. All I needed. Hey, good job, bud. We don't see this ever. This is shocked the world. Here we are. A twin. 
battle. Okay, let's highlight each project sure, real quick. Sure. Kobe, 38 red barrel. Quantity, check. Estimated value, well over $1,000. You did well. Core, your smoky diamond quartz look beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. Herkimer diamonds. Herkimer diamonds. Very similar to Fool's gold. That's not true. The winner of Crystal 2, Corey. <laughs> I mean, those, those, those diamonds are just beautiful. You can't, you can't Not given. That's right. The crystal champion. Dude, take your chain off. You look dumb. That was another dude perfect video. $50,000 crystal treasure hunt. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Again, follow us on all social media platforms. And again, shop liftinglove.com. Our merch is up for sale. Make sure you go get some um, and post it. Post it, tag us in it, put it on your story, whatever. We'll reach it. We'll, re 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 we'll repost it. Um, but until next time, man, this was another Lift and Love Reacts video. And there's only one thing you can do, and that's Lift Love. Crochet. We out.